To the Social Life Podcast. My name is Deanna Miller. I am co founder and marketing director of Stark Social Media Agency. With me again, because he just keeps showing up, is Nathan Imhoff. I go where the food is. <laughs> there was food and coffee, so he showed today to record the podcast. I won't show up if there's not. It's been my contract. Okay, so <laughs> next time we record, I just won't bring anything. and you... You'll be in breach of the contract. <laughs> breach of the contract. <laughs> Food and stuff. Okay. Well, we're back today, and um, after our last podcast, I did kind of tease that we were going to talk a little bit about all of the new stuff that's going on with Facebook. There's a lot of things that have been released over the last, uh, like, what is it, six months-ish? Yeah. Um, Facebook continues to do um, amazing things for business owners with new and improved ways to keep your uh, products in front of all the different clients that are out there in the world. That's a good spin. Looking I, for, I, I would say it, it's Facebook's coming up with new ways for you to have life and not leave your house. <laughs> well, that's just you. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> the rest of us walk outside and see the sunshine. Ah. ah. <laughs> you get to experience the whole life without ever leaving your house. <laughs> One of the cool things about Facebook for <laughs> Business um, that I've started to discover is that they do these great surveys where they ask people, um, mostly me. No, there's other D- people. Just you? Just me. What oh. do they want to see happen with the Facebook business pages? And we have been suffering um, since they started to decrease organic reach. So unless your page has got thousands and thousands and thousands of followers, your organic reach is probably minuscule unless you're using Facebook so advertising. Bad. So bad. But they have started to do a lot of things to make uh, us business owners, uh, social media managers, to make us happy because we're so sad about the organic reach. So sad. Um, So they've introduced things like Facebook Live, which is a great way to engage people. It's fun and it's interactive. You can do lots of things. Um, A couple of my very favorite people to follow, obviously, my boyfriend, Marcus Limonis. Um, (laughs) He doesn't know we're dating yet, but we are. You guys know that when you take my check, I am 100% in charge. (laughs) Whenever he is um, updating content for a show or he's at a trade show or an event or a conference, he hops on Facebook Live to introduce people to business owners he's working with, companies he's doing, things he's launching. So whenever you're doing things like that, product launches, new information about your business, you can always jump on Facebook Live and do stuff like that. Um, the other thing is, uh, the other one is Under Armour. I've been paying a lot of attention to what they're doing with Facebook Live. And just like Marcus and a couple other brands like Nike and Coca-Cola um, and makeup, there's different makeup brands, they do like Q&A sessions where if you have a question about what they're doing, a product they have, you can jump on and ask questions and they have a moderator who helps them do that. So if you have time for that kind of stuff, I definitely recommend putting together a little Facebook Live video. But we want to talk more about Facebook business. Because it's important. Business. Business. Um, one of the things that I found out was when I'm doing these webinars is people don't know that there's an actual um, hub for business owners or people who are using the different marketing tools on Facebook. And it's literally called Facebook Business. Look at that. It's amazing. That. They, they probably spent millions trying to come up with that name. I know. I think probably like brainstorming. They were like, what do we call this? <laughs> and then like after weeks and weeks of trying to decide, they're like Facebook business. Boom. It's facebook.com slash business. I like to go to the news section because that's where you can get all the updates on what they're doing, what's new, all kinds of cool stuff like that. So um, on the, one of the places I really recommend you taking a look at going when you're done listening to the podcast is to check out their blog, facebook.com slash business slash news. And it basically gives you all the updates. And there's different things that you can find in there, which I like is there's different trainings, there's how-tos, there's all kinds of cool stuff. So if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely check it out. And I direct people to look at things like they have tips on targeting your marketing. Um, If you're using advertising, Make sure that you're um, looking at all their different tips and techniques and things because these guys are the experts and they're giving you the information. Obviously, if you're still confused, you can always get in touch with me. Um, So so how does this compare to uh, LinkedIn Pulse? 
So LinkedIn Pulse is completely different. So LinkedIn Pulse is a publishing platform. So LinkedIn Pulse would be like if I wanted to write a blog about Facebook <laughs> for business, I could publish that on LinkedIn Pulse. So LinkedIn Pulse is more like a, like a Feedly type of thing for people who have concepts to concept blogs to publish. So people can talk about everything on LinkedIn Pulse from like, you know, the market trends to... So, so this news section is written, is basically a blog written by Facebook. Exactly. Got it. Yeah. So that's why it's so important. Um, and uh, there's a lot of things that I've learned um, in terms of new things that they've launched. So for example, if you're using Facebook advertising, um, there's a lot of different... Uh, what is what's options I guess would be the best word there's a lot of different options that they've started to add to Facebook advertising that is um, available to you in power editor um, and that is a whole other thing and people are just like what is power editor I don't even get it um, but power editor is the best platform to put your ads together with and I think I've actually done a couple of webinar trainings so you can check those out um, but what I really like is there are several new advertising options that they added this year, and they're releasing more and more on a regular basis. So you've got your basic regular ones, uh, boost your post, promote your page, but the ones that I'm really, really loving right now is collect leads for your business. So collect leads for your business is really great because if you have a landing page, if you have a contact us page, if you have a page on your website, that you're looking to gather data and information about your potential clients, this is awesome. Um, it's specifically directed in a way that allows you to target your audience um, for people that are looking for your services um, in specific areas. This is great. I love this because um, it brings a whole new edge to that boost your post promoted page thing, which a lot of people were doing um, to drive traffic to landing pages. But this is specifically designed to help you gather information and collect leads. Um, the other one I really like that we're using right now for our client, Ignition Fitness, is uh, increase brand awareness. Increasing brand awareness is so cool because what it does is it's a whole new way to retarget. So basically what you're doing is you're saying, here are the people that follow my page, here's the people that like my stuff, here's the area I wanna target, and make sure that my ad gets in front of all those people. And just an example, I put together an ad for the weekend. We decided we we're going to spend 20 bucks, and we're like, all right, that's good. And it's Saturday, and I think we've spent $10, and we've already got 10,000 unique views. Yikes. Yeah. So that's, I mean, a little bit of money, a lot of targeting, a lot of time spent on the ad, so you make sure that the image is nice and the creative is good. And the uh, text is explanatory so people get it. And then you're really going to be able to target. So take a look at those new options that are available in Facebook advertising um, because there's actually a lot, of, uh, a lot of businesses that were saying, well, there's not a good option for me. And now there is. So check it out and see what you want to do. Are you tired? A little bit. You keep yawning. I know, right? Then why don't you just go take a nap? I'll take a nap. I'll just talk to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm surprised Audio Guru didn't put a snore sound right in there. Uh, I'm, <laughs> we can do it in post. <laughs> um, you got you to do it for the Marcus Lemonis, too. Uh, I'm going to say I'm 100% in charge. <laughs> Marcus Lemonis. I really need the profit to come back. I really I know, need I love that, that show. I, that's, it makes me sad. I, anyway. <sighs> so uh, along the lines of Facebook advertising... Oh, we're going to watch TV, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm almost caught up on Millionaire Matchmaker. Can we go to Hulu? <laughs> <laughs> um, but one of the things that I, I keep reminding businesses that I work with, um, I do a lot of consulting for businesses, and I want to make sure that everybody has their Instagram connected to their Facebook business page. Connect it, people. Connect it because... Um, In Instagram is huge. <laughs> Instagram is just... So here's the stats on it. I, I dropped it into our little our notes for the show. Uh, 500 million plus monthly actives, uh, 300 million plus daily actives, 80% plus are outside the U.S., and 4.2 billion likes a day. With a B. Billion. <laughs> So if you're not taking advantage of putting your business in front of those people, er, 
Um, Fail. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we need some sort of like, uh, like Price is Right. Uh. Yeah, you, you just don't say, I don't get it and don't do it. Well, people do. Figure it out. People do. You figure it out. Okay. <laughs> okay, Dad. I'm sorry. <laughs> What has happened? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, but you want to take care, take advantage of all the new advertising tools that Instagram, who is Facebook, is rolling out this season. Um, we just started to note that all of the, um, if you're a business and your Facebook business page isn't connected to your Instagram. Instagram won't give you the option to turn your Instagram account into a business account, which you, oh God, I'm like all this stuff. I need to do like a <laughs> webinar. So what, what we're, what we're seeing now is when your Instagram account is turned into a business account, you don't have to go into Facebook to promote a post. So let's say you have this really cool post that you wanted to promote or turn into an ad. Once your Instagram is turned into a business account, you can do it directly from the app. So I'm super excited. You've got um, access to insights and statistics directly from the application. You don't have to go to Facebook anymore. You can, though, if you want to build like a uh, a set of ads that are all going to go in conjunction together, which is totally fine. You can still do it that way. But this makes it a lot easier to say, like, I'm on the go and I don't have time to sit down and do it. So if you haven't yet connected your Facebook um, with your Instagram account, I definitely recommend you do it now. I have a quick tip on the YouTube channel that shows you how to do it. It's very fast and easy. It's in your settings. Uh, you go down the left side, and it literally says Instagram, and you click on that, and then there you go. You, you put in your little login. Boom. Boom. You're done. Boom. Boom. Or bam, as bam. those of us like to say. Um, so those are some really cool things. The other thing I wanted to make sure that you check out for business updates is tips on creating ads for Instagram. So we're going to put these links in the show notes. I've got everything all in here for Nate. So he doesn't have to wait for me to do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but what I was looking at this morning, cause I was trying to find cool stuff to share with you guys about Instagram is what they've done is they've got a whole tutorial now on Facebook, um, facebook.com slash business on how to set up your Instagram ads. Because one of the things that I get questions about is um, I put together this cool Facebook ad and I wanted it to go on Instagram. And then I got this, that oh yeah, your Facebook thing is being reviewed. And then 20 minutes later it said that it couldn't be posted on Instagram. Why? Well, the big reason is, is that Instagram images have specific size requirements. And so if those size requirements aren't met, it just automatically negates your ad. And it just says, boop, no done. Boop. Not going to happen. Sorry. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I spent way too much time with Lindsay Schlick this week. I think. The, vo- the voices. <laughs> She's got such a great accent. She does. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, I say Lindsay Schlick. She is the um, owner of Schlick Art. She did my headshots oh. this week for the 40 Under 40 nominations. Yeah, you looked hot. Thank you. And awkward. Um, What's an awkward? <laughs> I'll post it on Instagram, so make sure you're following. The us. one with the leg? No. Yes, the one with the Ooh, leg. Ooh, I'll post hot stuff. <laughs> Y'all are in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I only picked two though because I didn't want to. Um, we'll overdo it. Well, no, because if I I might have more uh, fitness to accomplish, fitness goals. I don't know. You're already hot enough. I'll get some new ones. Too hot. You're going to leave. This just got really (laughs) awkward. I'm sorry. (laughs) Maybe we should start over. (laughs) We'll take a quick break. (laughs) Okay, lady. I love you. (laughs) Bye-bye. But back to Instagram. So they have specific requirements um, for their image ad sizes. Um, The other thing is you want to take a look at what the requirements are in terms of content. So there are certain things that you can not do on Instagram in terms of content. And if I had to list them, then we would be here for the rest of the show. Um, But make sure that you're taking advantage of what Facebook is putting together for Instagram. And I know it's not directly something that's new with Facebook. um, And connecting your Facebook and your Instagram has been available for a while. But I think Facebook does such a bad job of telling people these things are happening that, yes. that people are like, what? 
Everyone's confused. That happened in November. That's why they're listening to us right now. So you could explain it. Right. And well, and that was the thing too, when we um, did the webinar series recently and I explained to people that they could connect it and it had been available for a while. Everybody was like, the questions came through on the box. Like, what? You can do what? And it was like, yeah, you can totally do it. <laughs> do it. Um, so just make sure the stats for Instagram continue to grow. And one of the things is if you have an online business and you're selling online products, I think it's really important to make sure that your Instagram presence is solid. Um, if you're a local business that's um, taking advantage of local localized advertising, you can promote your posts directly to people in your area. So you can say like, hey, I have this sweet special that's happening and my address is yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, and I think that, that the Facebook and Instagram are going to continue to do cool things with um, advertising in business. So if you're looking to, like we talked about last week, reach those different users, the different uh, the baby boomers, the millennials, and all those fancy people. I don't think the baby boomers are listening anymore. So I offended him last, <laughs> last time. <laughs> They're like, that guy's mean. We don't want to <laughs> talk to him. <laughs> so, so no. far what we've talked about this morning is we've talked about making sure you're taking advantage of Facebook business. Uh, check out all the new advertising things that are happening in Power Editor. Power Editor is the best way to put together your ad sets for your campaigns. Um, and then, of course, make sure you're taking advantage of all the cool things that Facebook and Instagram are doing together. Make sure your account is... Uh, connected and make sure that you are a uh, business Instagrammy account so that you can do stuff. When we come back shortly, because we just have a few minutes before the break, uh, we're going to talk about getting a uh, business beyond the mobile app install. We're going to talk about video. We're going to talk about Facebook 360. We're going to talk about all kinds of really cool stuff. So make sure that you're listening. And of course, as always, Find us on social media. We are uh, at Stark Social on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. On Facebook, facebook.com slash Stark Social. Um, look up our YouTube channel because we're posting all kinds of cool videos, quick tips and things like that for you guys to follow along. And I mentioned in a lot of these um, podcasts the quick tips. So if you're looking for quick tips and things to do on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, anything that you're confused about or you're not sure, find them on YouTube. Um, anything else we've got? Two minutes and 42 seconds. Nope. You didn't want to say anything well, else? We want to do, I don't want to open another can of worms until I don't, after the break. I, I don't like worms. Worms are gross. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We will be right back after this very quick break with the Social Life Podcast. Go grab yourself a beer, a glass of wine, maybe a cup of coffee. If you're driving, please pull over. <laughs> My parents run the best social media company around. Go to StarkSocial.com today. Welcome back to the Social Life Podcast. We took a quick break so we could have more coffee. If there's something fun in your coffee, I give you high fives. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's too early right now for wine and stuff. Well, I got a, I got a cup with, remember, with the little flask. Oh, that's right. That was has, has a leather strap that, that holds a, hold a flask. Father's Day gift. It was awesome. I haven't used it. No, you haven't. I won't tell the kid. <laughs> uh, so well, he, it was funny because he goes, you can put beer in it. <laughs> and this thing is probably, what, like an ounce and a half? <laughs> well, it kind of makes me feel good that, my, that, that you know, the 10-year-old is not aware of anything <laughs> beyond beer and wine in terms of alcohol. He's not like, hey, you can put scotch in this. Yeah. Like, uh, what? <laughs> hey, mom, Nate can put Bailey's in here. <laughs> like, yeah, he did. <laughs> that would be yeah. awkward. And you're like, he didn't know what it was. Uh, no, they, that's a very small amount of beer. Yeah. Like tiny, little tiny flat. Yeah. He's like, well, what is the other stuff? The other stuff. And he's like, uh, I'm so happy you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also don't have a liquor cabinet. Like When we were kids, like liquor cabinets were a thing. I swiped it from the old lady's liquor cabinet. Yeah. Well, we never really had one. It was j just the booze was above the, uh, the fridge. The, oh. You know, those small little uh, cupboards that go, you know, they got the fridge. It was always. Yeah, yeah. No, we had, um, we had a legit liquor cabinet. 
Like, did it lock? Yeah. It had, like, what? It was like a, you, so you know, could literally like say a hutch that. that you had, like, all the, the teacups and the stuff and the, and then the bottom part was the liquor cabinet. And so you could say, I swiped something from dad's had, liquor like, cabinet. I never cared, though, because my, my, my parents were so fun and, like, you know, oh, when you're old enough, you'll try this. And then when I was old enough, I was like, here, try this. And, and you didn't care. And I didn't care. That's, I mean, yeah. I, I grew up with parents that weren't, like, crazy strict and stuff until I was in high school. And then it was like, chastity belt were, time. Were you a free inhabitant? I was. <laughs> <laughs> like that video. <laughs> I don't have to have a driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> like the San Diego wild animal far too much. Yes. <laughs> Animals roam free in their own habitats. Um so we're not talking about that stuff. We're actually talking about Facebook today. <laughs> Facebook. Facebook. So um, I always get a lot of questions about what's new with Facebook. So we decided to put together a podcast dedicated to, you know, some of the top things that are important about Facebook. So we've already talked about before the break Facebook business. Um, so you can keep up to date on all of the things that are new and cool with Facebook advertising, uh, tips and tricks and ideas on how to do Power Editor. Um, there's a lot of new advertising options available on Facebook. So so when you're putting together your ads and you're trying to decide between boosting posts and promoting page and sending people to your website, increasing conversions, yada, 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 there's a lot of different options now. So I recommend taking a look at Facebook business for tips and ideas on how to use those. And if you're done reading the Facebook blog and you're like, I seriously don't get it, you can always shoot me an email. Um, also, make sure that your Facebook and your Instagram accounts are linked this gives you access to Facebook business on your app. It's not a con- it's not a new app. It just gives you – it converts your uh, Instagram account into a business account, which gives you all kinds of cool stats and stuff um, and allows you to promote uh, your posts right from the application instead of having to go to Facebook ads to do so. Um, la, 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 la. Um, so I had a really cool conversation um, on the interwebs via Facebook Messenger, which – Facebook has been working over the last few months to improve their Facebook Messenger um, capabilities for pages uh, because we did have a stint there for a while where we were getting messages to our Facebook business page and not knowing that we were getting messages. So I had some serious apologies to make to people who were like, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Uh, um, so they've made some updates to that. But I had somebody who asked me a question about um, advertising their app. So... Uh, Pokemon Go is like a huge thing. And one of the ways that they've continued to grow and grow and grow over the last few days <laughs> was like a week since it launched. Yeah, it's been a little bit longer than that, but it's, it's, like it's got millions. I just of woke up one morning and it was like users. trending. Yeah. I, I didn't know anything. I was like, what is this? I thought it was a joke. <laughs> I did. I really did. I thought it was a joke. Um, well, it's not. Because they kept blaming everything, and then I, I couldn't tell if the if it was like a like a like a joke, like a well, gag, was, like a parody. Right, there was actual things happening, like two kids that fell off a cliff and died, and and right. you know somebody went into traffic, and but then they started all the, these joke things kept coming up that like and blaming Pokemon Go. So I couldn't tell which one was if it was real or if it was. I, yeah, false. I had to go. I had to go. Eventually, I was like, ah. Oh. So yeah. we almost got run over by a guy in a stroller <sighs> or a guy with a stroller. Yeah, we he wasn't d- in the stroller. Downtown he was Burbank pushing the stroller. And he almost ran us over. Yeah, that. And his wife was yelling at him, "Hurry up! There's more down here." And I was like, "Whoa!" Well, we <laughs> it was took like Game of Thrones style. <laughs> we went to Universal Studios. I thought for sure there was going to be a bunch, and I was just going to be annoyed all day. And there wasn't that many, so that was good. Yeah, there was a handful, but it wasn't horrible. I thought it was going to be out of control. I was like, you know. <laughs> but if you're having a difficult time building your app presence, um, and you're not a Pokemon Go, obviously, or a Candy Crush. Um, and you're looking for ways to uh, dynamically increase the presence of your app downloads. Um, you said Candy Crush. I'm thinking of that uh, that that comedy thing you saw with the the oh the, uh, the lady pregnant, the pregnant, pregnant, pregnant lady. Asian, Asian lady. Yeah, that's oh, I have to look that up. But she is hilarious. It's her new um, live one hour special is on Netflix now, and I have to look it up. It's like, it's like Cobra <laughs> Mom or something is her thing. Her husband but goes with her to, to the to I know. The hospital. <laughs> She's like he gets he gets awards for playing Candy Crush while I get my blood drawn. <laughs> He's so supportive. He's so supportive. I have to go. I'm the rock star here. I have the there's baby. no show without me. <laughs> <laughs> She's hilarious. I'm yeah. producing an eyeball right now. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I'm not doing. She's like, I'm not doing shit. I'm making a leg in here. What are you doing? <laughs> 
Oh, it's awesome. Oh, she's hilarious. But um, if you're <laughs> looking to improve your app downloads or maybe you have some in-app purchase um, items available that you're looking to increase, Facebook is listening to you. Um, there were some complaints last year around the Facebook advertising for apps not being super easy to maneuver and utilize. So they've created two different ways now that you can advertise your mobile applications. So if you're thinking about building a mobile app, there's a lot of different ways that you can do it that are easy and cost effective. Um, You don't have to pay a developer hundreds of thousands of dollars to get your app together, which I've worked with businesses who've done that. And then they go like, what does my app do? Um, The social life (laughs) app coming soon. Coming soon. To a mobile store near you. Um, So there's two different things that they have um, been testing with big brands. So dynamic ads and uh, something called Canvas. So these are really good ways for you to roll out uh, when you've launched your app or maybe you have an app that you've already launched that you're looking to boost the downloads. Um, There is a really good blog post that we're going to link to. It's called Beyond Mobile App Install on the Facebook business page. Uh, business page blog. So we'll put that in there and it has instructions and and tips and ideas on how to utilize those. But there's really good ways to increase your presence in terms of brand awareness for your app on your mobile Um, because obviously that's where people are going to go. You know, every time I scroll through, there's something that's like, get your app, get the app now, download now. And then I go to download and I'm like, "Eh, God, why do I have so many apps that I don't use? Um, So if you're looking for that, definitely take a look at those types of things. Um, the other thing is uh, Facebook Live, obviously being so huge, video continues to be really, really important. If you haven't yet used Facebook Live, just just use the Facebook Live. Go do it now. Do it while you're listening. Do it. And then go like, hey, Stark Social, we're using the Facebook Live app. Anyway, um, so in Business Manager, one of the things that I have... If you're like me and you're managing a couple of different pages for the same brand or you're managing a couple of different pages for different brands, but you're utilizing the same content, what I've noticed is um, there were some questions about video. So if I do I have to upload it to each page individually? How do I do this? One of the things you want to start with if you're managing multiple pages is you want to make sure you're using Facebook Business Manager. It makes it really, really easy to... Um, Obviously, first, put together ads. But second, um, there's this new thing that they launched. I think it was like in April. But um, like the rest of the world, people are like, they did what? And it (laughs) happened? And I'm sorry? Cuomo say what? Yeah. So there's this new thing in Business Manager called Video Permissions. So what that does is that allows you to upload a video and then give your other pages permission to use that video in their posting. It's um, pretty simple. I'll... I'll put the link in to the show notes so that you can take a look at it. It The the link that I'm going to put in the show notes, or I'll have Nate do it because he does that stuff, is going to take you directly to the instructions. And it's a step-by-step on how to do it in Business Manager. And it's really brilliant, and I love it. And um, if you're utilizing video at all for your businesses or for advertising, you definitely need to make sure you're using Business Manager for this kind of stuff. Definitely. Um, okay, so we're... We're getting the home stretch here. Um, so along with Facebook Live, one of the things that I love that Facebook basically, this was Facebook's answer to Google 360. Right. Um, and Google 360, for those of you that are not aware, Google 360 is something that you can attach to your Google page, Google Plus page, to your Google location, to your Google My Business. They're all the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> even though they don't sound the same. They're all the same thing. But what Google did was it said, we have all these cool brick and mortars that are using Google My Business. And we want to offer them an opportunity to showcase their entire business. So the storefront, the interior, um, and we're going to partner with local photographers and marketing groups. And we're going to charge them a buttload of money to get this done. And then we're going to stick it on there. And then if they want, oh, if they want to keep it, we're going to charge them a fee so that it, I don't, yeah, it ends up being ridiculous. So Facebook went, ha, Google. Google. <laughs> we can do it better. And we're not isn't gonna- that the case with Google all the time? We, well, we've talked about this before where they do something, but they only do it halfway. And no, someone else I think comes they, in. I think they, they did it all the way, but they're charging for it. Uh. So the, the, the thing is, is that 
small businesses, brick and mortars, when they're first getting started, they might not have the money to pay the photographer or the videographer or the person who comes in the professional because that person has a contract with Google. And so they can't go outside of it and say, oh, well, I'm going to give you special rates because they have a contract with Google. So Facebook's answer to Google, which they're always in this constant like battle of who can do it better. (laughs) Um, So basically what Facebook did is they were like, ha, we're going to do it and we're going to do it for free and everybody can use it. So there. Um, But what (laughs) Facebook 360 offers um, is there's a whole uh, website dedicated to it, and I um, I definitely recommend if you haven't yet looked at it, if you're a brick and mortar location, if you're a real estate agent, if you're um, like a, a trainer, if you're I, I can think of so many different, if you own a gym, if you don't own a gym, uh, <laughs> if you own a gym, if you don't own a gym. <laughs> If you're <laughs> if you're traveling to you own a froyo shop, <laughs> you don't own a froyo shop. <laughs> so many things. No. Just go down the whole list. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really easy to get started, and one of the things that they're um, letting people do is they're letting people create an immersive environment for their viewers. So. So you never have to leave the house. Never. (laughs) I try not to leave the house anyway. Telling you. It's just easier not to. Um, But initially people were saying that it was only available for um, personal profiles, and it's not. You can actually do it on your business page. So you can do it to your business page timeline, um, and it's really easy to put together. I will um, have in the show notes, we'll put together... The link on how to on where the instructions are, and then also once you get to the link where the instructions are, it's literally like step by step. It walks you through the whole thing. Um, and what's really neat is they have a bunch of tips and ideas for um, you know rethinking your photos, how to. There's a whole like 360 photos FAQ section about what they recommend, what they offer, um, and then there is actually a. 360 Facebook community group where they answer questions um, and you can join the group for free. There's no charge, obviously, because Facebook is like, hey, everything's free. Um, but I really like it because what I've noticed is we have a, a client who does a lot of trainings and um, they have this whole amazing space that they've created for it. And what we want to do is just utilize that Facebook 360 to illustrate all the cool things that they have available um, in their training room. The other thing is we have a, a, a gym as a client, Ignition Fitness, and we work with them on all of their social media and web design and stuffy stuff like that. But that's a great opportunity to use the Facebook 360. Um, if you're not a brick and mortar location, some of the ideas I have is if, you know, if you're out and about, um, and you're visiting with a client or maybe you go to a conference or a trade show, you can use Facebook 360 to show all the cool things that you're doing to highlight your community. Um, if you do a lot of sponsorship and events, you could do anything from, you know, the, uh, we were just at the 40 under 40 mixer. I probably should have done one there. That would have been cool. Um, hindsight, hindsight, it's 2020. Um, but there's a lot of different things, but I would recommend doing if you're going to use Facebook 360 for anything, um, or Facebook live is just jot down some ideas of different things that you want to cover. It's really, really easy to just kind of put together a checklist of, you know, I want to do a Facebook live video about my podcast. I want to do a Facebook live video about a new service, or I'm going to do a Facebook live video about my new client. And we're going to do a Q and a with my client and we're going to talk about how awesome they are. So it's really easy to utilize Facebook's new tools. I like the 360 because it obviously it's once you check out all the different things that people are currently doing with it. um, You go to the discover section on the little website. It shows you all the different kinds of ideas and concepts and stories that people are actually assembling with it. Um, And brands love it because it's no charge. You can do it with your iPhone. Uh, If you have an Android, maybe you can do it. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed to use that audio guru. Sorry. He's, he's a Windows guy. Oh, definitely not then. Windows phone. <laughs> like, I told him about... Do um, Windows phones uh, even have Facebook? I think they have Facebook. Oh. They have Facebook, yeah. I told him, I told him about OfferUp, and, he, and then he goes on a Windows phone, and he's like, no, can't do it. <sighs> anyway. Anyways. So we've been talking about Facebook today. Yes. 
where Mr. Imhoff spends all his free time. All the, all the, all the, the different stuff. <laughs> Find him in a Facebook group near you. Uh, <laughs> we've, been ta- <laughs> we've been talking. Don't be mad. I will be if I want to. Arr. Arr. We've been talking about Facebook business today. Um, all the cool new things that are available with Facebook business. We're going to put together all the different links to different stuff, um, which links are good for SEO. Love links. Oh, he's making a funny face. Oh. Uh, we're going to put the links in the show notes for we all the things links. that we talked about today. We talked about Facebook advertising. We talked about linking your Instagram and your Facebook page. We got a link to we the one lady. We're going to link to the one lady. The we cut. talked about increasing in app purchases with uh, dynamic ads and Canvas. We talked about business manager and cross posted videos. Facebook Marcus 360. Limones. My boyfriend, Marcus Limones. <laughs> if you'll notice, if you go back and listen to the other podcasts, I talk about him as much as I possibly can. I'm 100% in charge. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> I like that. Anyway, thank you for joining us again on another episode of the Social Life Podcast. If you want to subscribe, subscribe through what are we subscribing? Um, what the, do you mean? You're the guy. Where do people find us? Um, they can find the show on Spreaker. Spreaker. Um, pretty much anywhere where you have a podcast. The sociallifepodcast.com, yes. iTunes. You can email me. I'll send you a link. <laughs> Hello at starksocial.com. Make sure you find us on social media. We are on Twitter and Instagram with the handle at starksocial. We are on Facebook, facebook.com slash starksocial. Uh, search Stark Social Media Agency on YouTube for quick tips and all past videos of my webinar series. Um... And my interviews on SCB Today. You still got to write notes on those, by the way. <sighs> what else? I can't post them yet. Okay. Well, if you have been uh, with us this entire time and you're enjoying uh, finishing off your bottle of wine, maybe go grab another one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just get a box and call it a day. <laughs> oh, box of wine. <laughs> we will be back next week um, on the Social Life Podcast. I don't know what we're going to talk about yet. I have a lot of questions that have been coming into my messenger inbox for people that are a part of the groups that I'm part of. So I will... Uh, I'm, I'm hoping it's Pokemon Go. I will, oh, we're just going to Pokemon Go for an hour <laughs> <laughs> within the studio and see what we can find. Join us next time on the Social Life Podcast when we talk about more stuff, social media. We might talk about some web design stuff. I don't know. Maybe some SEO. I have no idea. Uh, join Nathan and I next time on the Social Life Podcast. Enjoy the rest of your case of wine or beer (laughs) whatever you're enjoying and we'll see you next time adios i need a drink